let's talk about chicken. I mean, how good's chicken? You've got chicken breast, chicken thigh, chicken wings, heart, giblets, chicken skin. Oh my gosh, it's such a delicious bird. We're eating pretty much every single part of it. Well, I guess not every part. Has it a guess most of us are probably throwing away the skeleton, for example. Well, would you believe me if I told you there's actually a city here in China that is obsessed with eating specifically chicken skeleton. And not only that, has come up with countless different ways of preparing this often overlooked part of the chicken. Interested? Me too. Let's take a trip to the city of Shenyang to learn more about it. This is Shenyang, not only the capital of Liaoning province, but also the capital of eating chicken frame, Jijia, as it's referred to here. But I have to ask myself, what is it about the skeleton, the chicken carcass, that has people so enthralled here in Shenyang? So I decided to hit the streets of Shenyang to find out for myself. Yeah, 甘吃肉的话很没有乐趣我比较喜欢吃的是半鸡架 no chicken can leave the city of Shenyang alive So today, we're going to spend the day eating chicken frame We're starting off the day nice and early at 8 a.m. First meal of the day, we are starting off at breakfast and we have come here to Lao Si Ji, which is arguably the most famous place here in Shenyang to get this chicken rack. So many people have been recommending it to me. And it seems that it's served with a side of noodles, freshly made noodles to be precise. And I can't get over how much a bowl of these noodles cost. Bowl of noodles, five RMB. It's less than a dollar. Oh, huh. So for my entire chicken skeleton and a bowl of noodles, it's come to 14 renminbi, which I can't help but feel is uh, very, very reasonable. Especially seeing the size of these chicken skeletons that are coming out here. Is it mine? Is it yours? So much. How much do I eat? I'm Oh, huh. see, 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 see. I could not believe that this tray of food is mine because they paid 14 renminbi, that's like two American dollars. And that'll get you a bowl of these chicken broth noodles, one chicken frame with actually quite a lot of meat left on it. And finally, this plate of coriander with jia cai, which is pickled mustard root. Its flavor is more salty than it is sour, actually. And if I've heard her correctly, she seems to have told me that I need to break this up, put the pieces of meat into this, and then I can put some chili oil and some, some vinegar. I think that's what she said. It made me feel better that it wasn't just me who wasn't sure what to do. This guy is also from out of town and he did the hard work for me, going around to different tables, asking how to properly enjoy this chicken frame. So much fun. Okay, here goes nothing. I've been provided with some plastic gloves here and something's telling me this might get messy. I'm just gonna grab whatever meaty bits I can find and put it in this plate here. I've since learned this is in fact not the correct way to do it, but more on that later. So I'm left with a bowl of bones and I have my little salad here, I guess you could call it, with my meat that I've taken off the bone. Quite a lot of meat there actually considering that we've just been served a carcass. Now in with some chili, soy sauce, and vinegar, and then we're gonna mix it all up. Let's try this. Mmm, that chili sauce is so good. It's got this smokiness to it, and it's not overly spicy, it's just got giving my, my mouth a little bit of warmth. So I feel like you could add quite a lot of this for flavor, but not be overwhelmed by the spice. You've got some crunch from these Salty pickles, they're quite salty actually. Prepared this way, or as I like to call it, chicken rack a la Amy, it is a real whack bang of flavor. And I realized that's because you're not supposed to add just the meat, but the entire frame, bones and all, which will dilute those flavors a bit. I feel like yesterday I did this all wrong and I have not been able to stop thinking about it. So I've come back here today for round two. I have my chicken carcass here. I've been doing some research online, so hopefully this time I get it right. People have actually just been like taking apart this entire carcass then putting it on the plate. So I'm just gonna break this up into smaller pieces. I'm sure there's a specific way to do this. 
but that is just gonna be next level. Next time I come to Shenyang, I will learn that. So I've now got my plate of like little pieces here of the chicken frame. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this plate on top of it. Then in with your sauces and of course that delicious chili oil. So I'm gonna go for two spoonfuls today. <laughs> now we're actually going to massage this all together, get all of those juices and jazz hay and coriander and chili coating every single piece of this chicken frame. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's really, really good. This is just like a completely different experience because I feel like yesterday, it was quite an overwhelming flavor experience, but doing it like this, I feel like it's a more balanced flavor. And also you can just spend your time just like picking through this carcass and just enjoying all of those flavors rather than taking the meat off and then maybe leaving quite a lot of meat on the bones. But having said that, in my humble opinion, this way is also quite good, especially when you pair it with those noodles, which have a more delicate flavor. The noodles are so soft and chewy. You can definitely tell they've been handmade right out the back fresh. And as for the flavor of this bowl of noodles, it kind of reminds me of a slightly less flavorful lanjo nyo rom mian, but obviously made with a chicken broth, not a beef broth, as is the case with lanjo pulled noodles. And fun fact, the broth is actually made from that chicken frame. I just love how everything links together in this dish. I actually think I want to have a little bit of these two together and see how that tastes. Mm. Oh, that's really good. People from Shenyang, let me know. How did I do? So I've come here for breakfast, but this is by no means just a breakfast food. I actually just checked the opening hours of this place and check this out. It opens at 6.30 a.m. and it's open until 3 a.m. <laughs> And you kind of know that this is a place that people like to come and maybe have a bit to drink because under every single table, we've got these little bottle openers just hanging. My table actually has two. <laughs> it's still a bit early for me to start drinking beer, but don't worry guys, I promise I'll be having beer with chicken frame before the day is out. For now, it's time for our second chicken frame of the day. Well, very, very busy. So a lot of people in here getting their Jia fix. And it looks like it's actually served with rice. Oh, that looks so good. So there are many different chicken frame options here, but the one she's recommended I try is this one. Chicken frame on rice. The same thing everyone else in this restaurant seems to be eating. It's just bowl after bowl after bowl is coming out here. This place is so popular and the price also very reasonable. 14 renminbi. It seems when it comes to chicken frame here in Sheyang, a little goes a long way. I mean, check how massive this bowl is. You've got so much sauce in there. You've got like a little lake of sauce in the middle there. And I can just tell how flavorful that is gonna be over that rice on the bottom. First things first, I just wanna try some of that sauce. Look how thick this sauce looks. Ooh, thick and sweet and salty. Very, very hearty. And it goes so well with that rice. Now I'm gonna try some of that jijia. Look at that. Really, really meaty actually. Got a lot of meat on those bones. I have to admit, going into today, I didn't think there would be as much meat involved as there has been. These skeletons are meaty. And as we all know, the meat closest to the bone is the most flavorful and tender. And that's definitely been the case today. And another thing I'm realizing that I really love about this chicken frame concept is it slows down your speed of eating. You know, I'm often guilty of just like gobbling down my food, getting it down the hatch. And I often eat my food, you know, with my phone in my hand and it means that I'm not very present when I'm eating often, but this, you can't have a phone in your hand because you may miss a bone that'll go down here. It's quite fiddly, so it requires more attention. I feel like I'm more present eating it. I'm slowing down when I eat it. So it means that I'm actually really enjoying it more and I'm having more time to understand the flavors and the feelings and the, that's really, really good. So far, second chicken frame of the day. I'm loving it. Ba -da 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 -da. Oops, getting my chicken restaurants jingles mixed up. Anyway, time to clean our faces, enjoy a bit of that Shenyang scenery. I mean, how cute is this vibe here? And head to dinner for, you guessed it, more chicken frame. It is dinner time and it's time for our last chicken frame of the day. And I've been waiting for this meal all day because we are finally going to be trying Shao Kao Jia barbecued chicken frame. And I've come to this store here because it has great reviews online. And I've just seen that it was opened in 1993. Not only is that the year that I was born in, so this restaurant is as old as me, but 1993 is actually the year of the chicken in the zodiac sign. So I think that bodes very well for this restaurant that sells chicken carcass, 
let's go have some shao kao. But as we all know, to shao kao alone is quite a sad thing. So I've invited some of my new friends that I've met today here in Shenyang. Yeah. You like Wajara Monk? No. You like Wajara Monk? No. <laughs> okay, I've brought everyone together. Brought everyone to a place they haven't been before. Hopefully I've chosen a good place. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm here with locals. So people here. Yeah, it must be good, huh? We are here just after five. And it is already packed with people. Too many people. <laughs> Today we are going to be getting two, actually two varieties of jijia. We're getting shaka jijia as well as ban jijia, right? Yes. How many jijia have you, have you eaten? Today? Yes. Already two. Already two. And, and then after tonight it will be four. four. <laughs> I will start looking like a jijia soon. Speaking of jijia, this is the raw product here. And this here is the chicken frame barbecue room. Yes, you heard that right. There is a specific barbecue room for just the chicken frames. If that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about chicken frame here in Shenyang, then I don't know what will. It is special, and oh my, how special does this look? This one is a traditional So we've got a number here, and that's so that we know when our jija is ready. It's quite a slow cooking process, and there are so many people here waiting for their chicken frames, so we made sure to order lots of things to eat in the meantime while we wait for ours to be cooked. This is the ban. Now this is our mixed chicken frame and it's a bit different from the others I've eaten today because it's actually served cold. I'm glad I was reminded of that because everything I've been reading online, it's all like this chicken frame is the best kind of accompanying like snack for drinks. So I don't think my day eating chicken frame would be complete if I didn't have some beer. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Some beer. All I need to do is have some jijia. Here's another saying for you. No plastic glove can leave the city of Shenyang alive. I really like the sauce on this. It's very refreshing. It's sweet. I can confirm nibbling away at your chicken frame while enjoying a beer is a match made in heaven and I'm gonna have to introduce this to my dad because I think this would be the perfect snack for watching the cricket or the footy. Actually when these mushrooms first arrived I thought they were the jijia, I thought this was the chicken skeleton um, but they're actually fried mushrooms with this sauce on top. And this sauce again, it's like sweet, it's sour. The same sauce you can coat these beef skewers with. I love this paintbrush concept. <laughs> Look at this paintbrush. <laughs> like I've seen a lot of things at Shao Kao, but I've never seen DIY so, paint, paint your own shao kao experience. It's really good. Soon our number was called and our barbecue chicken frame was deposited on our table and holy moly how amazing does this look. It's like glazed and shiny. It's also got this amazing caramelization on the top because right at the end of the cooking process they actually put a whole lot of like white sugar on top. And when I say a lot I mean a lot. It is snowing sugar here. I cannot wait to try this. Is my mouth the only one watering? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, it smells just so smoky from that barbecue. Mm, yum! This reminds me of like Texas barbecue. It's sweet, it's smoky. Wow. Which one's the best one? This one. <laughs> this is so good. I love this. It's so funny, like every single variety of jijia I've had today has been so different you know I've had boiled I've had with rice I've had cold and like salady and now I'm having like this sweet and smoky style hard to believe we've only just scratched the surface in terms of the variety of ways chicken skeleton is enjoyed here in Shenyang who knew that you know chicken frame could come in so many different varieties but I am loving it I'm loving the lack of 
waste. I love that this part of the chicken that I guess would ordinarily be thrown away is being used here in Shenyang in such a way that's just so delicious. I'm a big fan of this. I didn't think I would be at the beginning of the day, but I urge everyone, if you come to Shenyang, you really, really have welcome to have. To welcome to eat, welcome to eat. But yeah, that's gonna be it for our food adventure today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for Bye -bye. coming. Yay! Bye -bye. And um, yeah, welcome to Shenyang. Bye guys. Welcome to Shenyang. Bye bye. <laughs>